What do you do when you own a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro Retina which can't have its storage upgraded and you run out of space? Well, most people try to dump old files, transfer some of those files to a flash drive, an external hard drive, or just buy a new computer. Well, now there's a much easier way to add up to 256 gigabytes of storage to your Mac without the need for bulky external devices. Today, we are talking about a new device that combines hardware, software, and firmware into one device. Today, we are talking about Tardisk, coming up next on TechTalkAmerica.com. The first question you'll of course have to ask yourself is how much extra storage would you like to have on your Mac? Tardisk comes in 128GB and 256GB configurations, ranging in price from $149 to $399, which, might I remind you, is still far less than the cost of replacing your Mac. It's available for all models of the MacBook Pro and the 13-inch MacBook Air. The chip itself is going to live inside your computer's SD card slot, so once you complete the pairing process, it's very important that you not take it out since it's going to merge it with your hard drive. All right, everyone, I'm going to walk you through the installation process. Plug Tardisk into your Mac. It'll appear on your desktop just like that. Double click on it to reveal the app inside. Now, when you double click on the app, you may get this, a little pop-up window that says that it is from an unidentified developer. No worries, just hit OK if that is the case. Easy to fix. Go to the Apple icon, System Preferences, and from there, we're going to go into uh, where it says Security and Privacy, which you'll see here at the very top. Click on that. If you're not already there, go to the General tab. And if you look towards the bottom, there's a little button that says Open Anyway, and just click that. Okay. Now, basically, uh, we're going to go through part of the setup here, but then we're going to have to reboot the computer, and I'll walk you through that part. So you have to check these three boxes, just saying so you agree to the terms and conditions, you agree, you understand the instructions, and you have a recent time machine backup. Yes, I know, I'm a bad boy. I didn't do it until 30 days ago, and that's because I moved. All right, folks, so the rest of this I have to actually shoot from my iPhone because I can't record my computer while I'm rebooting it. So what you're going to do is you're going to restart your computer, and then you're going to hold down Command and the letter S as in Sam. Okay, It's going to take about a minute, and what's going to happen is you're going to see a bunch of code fly across the screen. Okay, And when it finally stops, you're going to type in the following phrase. F S C K, there's then a space after K, dash, F is in Frank, Y is in Yak, and then hit the enter or return key. Okay? And so at that point, what it's going to do is it's going to analyze your hard drive. Okay? And when it's done, you're going to do it again. Type in once again F S C K space dash F Y. When it finishes the second time, you're going to type in the word reboot and then hit enter and your computer is going to restart on its own and we'll pick up where we left off on the Mac. So here we are we have rebooted and uh, we're going to kind of pick up where we left off so you're going to click yes I have now performed a file system consistency check that's what we just did and this screen is kind of cool if you mouse over the pair you'll kind of see what you'll end up with so right now I have 72 gigs free and after I have 327 free. Pretty darn cool. Click pair and hit continue. You have to now type in your admin password and hit continue and it's going to basically do the rest all for you. Now when it's done it's going to give you kind of a little cute tutorial and show you kind of what has just taken place. So you can take a little tour and you can see exactly how much space you have. So you can see my Mac uh, used to have 500 gigs. Now I have 754. You can register your TARDISC if you like, and you're good to go. So that's basically how it works. It's a great little utility. I'm a big fan. Check it out. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll find links, of course, to everything in the description of this video, and we'll see you next time. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.